Dear friends, welcome to another video of Fardan Consulting Engineers. In this video, we are going to tell you about the challenges faced by many engineering students in finding a proper job in their core sector. The students of electrical, mechanical, civil and energy engineering branches are interested to work in core sector but they find it very difficult to get a dream placement in core sector. We are going to explain you about the various aspects and conditions required to have a successful career in core sector companies. Please watch this video very carefully till the end. I am sure that you will have the clarity about how to have a delightful career in core sector. Friends, in our current engineering education system in India, all the engineering students are mentally divided into two basic sectors. The first sector is software sector and the second sector is core sector. In the first sector, the students from branches like computer science, information technology, electronics and communication, electronics and instrumentation and masters of comp computer applications are there. They are interested to work in industries like information technology, ITES, software development, Android app and web designing and e-commerce etc. They get placed easily in software companies like TCS, CTS, Infosys, l and Infotech, Accenture, etc. as these companies regularly recruit fresher as mass recruiter and give them a proper training before they actually start working on a project, which leads to an overall placement of 70 to 80% including on and off campus placement drives. The second one is the core sector. In this sector, the students from civil, mechanical, electrical and energy engineering are interested and desired to work in core sector industries such as energy, oil and gas, power, construction, renewable energy, manufacturing etc. Unfortunately, most of these companies working in core sector hardly visits colleges for placements and shows a very little interest to hire fresher. This leads to only 5-10% to of placement in core sector. Because of this, many core sector engineering students opt for getting placed in software companies. Now, if a student whose interest and desire is to work in his core sector but forced to work in a software company just to avoid unemployment, then it leads to huge stress, low productivity, harassment and depression. What is a core sector? As a student, core sector refers to those industries which provide you the platform where your real talent, skills and expertise are utilized. The main four specifics that defines the core sector for you are satisfaction, utilization, interests and application. When you go to your workplace and spend the day working and if you are satisfied with the work you did, it's known as work satisfaction. It's different from job satisfaction. As in job satisfaction, you think about income, location, boss, growth potential and many other things. But in work satisfaction, you think about your exact professional work or duties performed by you and that is independent of any external conditions. You can be in designing, maintenance, operation, projects and if you think this particular industry can give you the work which make you satisfied then that industry is core sector for you. Industry should utilize your real talent, skills, subject knowledge and expertise. There should not be any mismatch or compromise. You should be interested and excited about your work. The level of enthusiasm should have to be so much that you won't even think about initial income or salary. You should be utilizing theories and methodologies you learned. As you know that the theory without practical is useless and the practical without theory is clueless. If even one of the ever four specifics meet in any given industry then that will be the core sector for you. Hence we can see that core sector industries for every student can be different and it may or may not depend on their branch of engineering. Now we are going to tell you about the seven different types of industries which are most suited for mechanical, electrical, civil and energy engineering branches. If you feel that these are the industries where you like to work, then be with us, we have a solution for you. Oil and gas. 
exploration, refining, transportation and utilization of crude oil and natural gas are done in this industry. Energy and power, mining of coal, generation, transmission and distribution of electrical energy are done in this industry. Building and construction, real estate and infrastructure development, buildings, roads, bridges are done in this industry. Manufacturing and processing, creating, converting, assembling and processing of raw material into goods are done in this industry. Renewable energy and energy efficiency, solo photovoltaic, wind, geothermal, small hydro, green buildings and energy audit are done in this industry. Climate change and sustainable development, carbon footprints advisory, climate policy, environmental and pollution control, clean development consultancy are the parts of this industry. Education and services. You can prepare for GATE exam or UPSC exam where you can join government institutions and public sector undertaking companies. Also you can do MTech and PhD and can start your career as professor or academic research. What the core sector industry require or expect from the candidate? Their requirement is very simple and basic but they are very specific about particulars of the job description and profile. That is the reason why they give more preference to diploma graduates over engineers. They want the candidate to understand the bare business process, what exactly they are doing, how they are generating revenue, their operational units, locations and functions. They want the candidate should and must be a team player. Now you think that is very common requirement. Your team may consist of people from different educational and mental background. They can be skilled or unskilled labor, ITI diploma with none or little formal education. Hence, you should be prepared enough to be a good team worker. There are various technical component, equipments, machines, raw materials has been utilized in any industry. They expect the candidate should have the techno commercial knowledge like nameplate capacity, warranty details, suppliers, brands, fuel consumption, availability in market and pricing, etc. Basic knowledge of project management always help. You should know the different terminologies and their applications. Resource management, PERT, CPM, Gantt charts and documentation. Even though you are an engineer, not a lawyer, but many times government release policy documents, tender documents, expression of interest with lots of technical information. Hence, they expect the candidate should know which ministries they are dealing, their policies, benefits and tendering process. Many of the engineers are under the impression that working in core sector industry means working on a project from the beginning or they will be working in a tough manufacturing or generating unit. But the truth is entirely different. You can be joined, transferred or assigned to any department or division inside the organization. Because of many myths and misconceptions like this, they do silly mistakes in interview and at workplace. Most of the students don't have the essential information about the industry such as what vacancy they have, what exact skills they are looking at, profile and job description. The curriculum followed in our colleges are mostly theoretical and hence many students don't get the practical knowledge about machines, supplier, manufacturers, brand, contractors, pricing, etc. Sometimes the candidate finds it difficult to position themselves. When they don't have a job, they want a job. When they get a job, they want to do further studies. Sometimes they join the company and find themselves stranded in a remote, lo remote location. Then they want to quit. Now this is very common in students, but in core sector they take it very seriously and hence their reliability on freshers is less. Our organization, Pradhan Consulting Engineers, is started by a team of experienced engineers worked in different industries. The founding members of this organization are having experience in giving techno-financial consultancy to many energy projects in India and abroad. Our organization is dedicated to the development and enhancement of youth through counseling, guidance and training. As per our experience and market study, we found that there is a huge gap between the requirement and the availability of quality manpower for the core sector. This gap is increasing every year. Unlike the software sector, the core sector companies don't come forward to provide an on-campus training 
as they are not a mass recruiter but there are hundreds of companies and thousands of vacancies to fill this gap and to enhance the quality of the core engineering students our organization started this technical training program this program is for the students who are interested to work in seven industry types mentioned earlier in this video before i start briefing you about what we are offering you in this program i would like to first clarify about what we are not offering in this program this is because we got many queries and doubts about this program as the candidates are expecting lot of stuff in this program now no classes lectures tutorial or any topic no training on specific software no industrial visit no ebook software workshop kit will be provided we want you to understand that all these academic tools you can easily get from naptel internet books and training and placement section but what we are going to offer you is impossible to get from outside our experience tells us that about 99% of graduates regret of not having these info and skills after interview or after joining the company the information what you are going to get here you are not able to find out in google or any other internet options now i am going to explain you what we are offering you in this program it will be a real time information on core companies of different sectors what exactly they do what vacancy they have what they are looking at what are the salary packages they offer how girls can fit in what is the scope of career development in next 5 years and many more information like this practical techno commercial and market information designing simulation modeling creation initiation and calculation of actual industrial projects detailed training on corporate documentation and reporting digitally authenticated certificate and letter of recommendation we are providing an 8 weeks of power packed specialized technical training program where the student can choose an industry based project from the list of the projects then he she will be trained and mentored by an industrial expert there are total of 165 projects in five sections for the details of registration and other queries please feel free to contact us you can send us messages on whatsapp on this number or send us email for more information please visit www.techwardan.com we hope you enjoyed watching this video please leave your comments below thank you very much